Today, you will be assembling the Joy-Cot. Everything fits into this bag. To unfold the cot, grab the frame and quickly pull upwards. Start from the longer sides, then the shorter ones. Once all the sides are stiffened, press the wheel into the base. This is essential locking, which makes sure that the cot won't fold on its own. Now it's time for the extra accessories. First, the suspended bottom. You put it on the frame and fasten the zippers on four sides. Attach the Velcro in the corners. There are special loops in the bottom. Insert the tubing through here. First, place the two ends of the tubing into the loops and then connect them in the middle. The same goes for the other side. Now you can lay down the stiffened bottom. It is fastened with Velcro on two sides. Slide the straps into the holes in the bottom and connect them with the Velcro placed on the other side. The rocking function is still missing. The set includes runners and hinges. Tighten them with the screws in the hinges. Now, turn the cot upside down and attach the hinges to the underside of the frame using the hooks. It's simple. The rocker is now ready. To stop the rocker function, simply fold the runners in by pushing them inwards. The cot has wheels, which make it easy to move. If you want to lock them, press the red lock button near the wheels on both sides. Now for the nappy changing table. Insert the tubes into the holes on the sides, two bent into the shorter sides and two straight into the longer ones. Join the tubes together by sliding them into each other. The indication that they are connected properly will be the silver pins popping out. Now attach the nappy changing table to the frame with the plastic hooks on the sides and the clasps. Okay, let's move on to assembling the carousel. Connect the plastic parts of the handle one after another. Slide them in and turn. The control panel can be slid onto the assembled handle. All that is left is to insert the toy hangers. Screw the handle to the frame, in the middle where the frame is thicker. Here you turn on the melodies, here the lights, and with this button you set the carousel in motion. Remember to pack the batteries when you're going on a trip. Time for the nappy shelf and other items for your baby that must be within reach. Hang it on the frame, on hooks, preferably close to the nappy changing table. It is worth fitting a mosquito net when you're outside. You put it around the frame and stretch it. All done. When the toddler grows up a bit, mount the bottom lower. Add the handles which will be used for the standing training. And open the door. To take the cot along with you on a trip, you need to fold it. First, loosen the lock on the base. Press the clamps on the frame and fold downwards. Cover the cot with the bottom and put it in the bag. Now it will accompany you wherever you want to go.